Greetings all players. Today I'm going to try and teach you how to make a point of interest that shows up and have it be uh, persistent to where it's the same every time. So what we want to do is probably start off by making a location. So right click new world data location. Ignore all this, give it a name. Okay, now you want the parent location to be the surface of the planet that you want. To be at. Now that mine Cheyenne, S Cheyenne, something. There it is. See how you see the surface? You want that? That'll be its parent location. Okay, if you want never resets, there's that. Not sure if this workshop script or you know, little check mark works or not. It's up to you if you want to play with that. And just hit OK. Takes a little while, thinks about it, don't touch anything, might crash. There it goes. Okay, now we want to go down here to block. I'm going to pick something that you like. Sort of area. I'm just going to go with flat because it'll be nice and easy. You want to right click that and you want to hit preview block right there. Boop. And it's in your render, boop, render window right now. Hit B. All those lines come up. There it is. There's some land. All right. Once you're here, you can hit. Control H and it brings up your landscape cutting tool. See, it's right there. This is what you're going to name your world cell, right? So. It's world cell. Uh, I'm going to make this bigger. So that you have something to land at those red markers are where nothing can be placed. Uh, I like doing five by five. You can move it around. Boop. Boop. Like that. Okay. And then you hit create overlay. There you are. You're in the world space now. See? And then you want to change one of these names to something you can see in COC into later. I'm going to call it I-95. Go up to highway. I'll remember that. Okay. And then you go up here to world. World space. See? You got all this lovely data you got to fill in now. Your location should be in here somewhere. Uh, I'm not seeing it. I don't know why. Let's put none until we find it. Okay. Parent location it shows up over here now. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Should be over here. Anyway, once you get your location filled out the best you can, you're going to want to go to Galaxy View. This is probably what part you were tuning in for. We're going to go to Cheyenne. See if I can find it. 
sling. Then you want to hit this button over here. Boop. Oh, you want to hit this little dot first. You might have to go to Planet Data. Oh, you want to click on it. There you go. Get your little blue dot on there. And then you want to go to your overlays and you want to add your overlay now. Okay. So it lives there now. That's where it's at. You can also uh, click on that and then click on this button right here. Boop. And it'll bring up another render window where you can also hit control H and make another instance area. It's this little check mark right there that you're gonna want to make it so that it's a unique individual place. And we can hit yeah, the marker here. That's this planet. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And with this, you hit Control H, move these to five by five. Do the name. Create overlay. Boop. I don't know why the land disappeared again, but it's not going to be like that when you COC into the place. And you should be able to hit this button right here and add, add that. But my button's not coming up. It's probably a little glitch. Because uh, you can put multiple instance areas one here and if you don't like the train you can always come back and click it again and so that's the setup pretty much don't forget to save a lot you should be able to coc into i95 now uh, it's probably a lot I'm forgetting, but that is the basic gist of it, you know, and uh, good luck building, making mods, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you before I go. I don't think so. Have a good one. Good, uh, good luck. Bye.